3 and 0. So just looking at the opening movements that we do, they can look quite similar uh, throughout the majority of the games, but it really is all based on what the opponent actually does. So if they're doing the same types of attacking maneuvers, then I'd be foolish to do stuff that I don't believe works for us. So we're just doing stuff that works for us based off of our experience. Just bring the rook here. And we've talked through quite a lot of um, what works for us in many of our games. So you'll understand the principles that we're using as we're going through these games. I'm going to hit the pawn here. Gets his knight out of the way. And this is where the icing on the cake kicks in. So let's attack the queen. And let's attack the queen again. But let's not rush that one. Let's not rush that one. I think I've got something a little bit better up my sleeve. Let's just support with the pawn for now. Making space for the dark squared bishop. Let's take with the queen. And this is where the coup de grace comes into place. Let's hit the queen one time and let's take the So they instantly resign because they know they've just landed on our knight. The games that I'm playing, I'm looking at doing basic, simple chess throughout the games that I'm doing so that I understand what it is that I'm doing. Basically, I've got rationales behind it. I've got my stories behind it, the experience behind it. If the opponent does something different, then obviously that's when I need to really kick into the mantra and look at um, how we're going to deal with that type of manoeuvre. And I think the one who can build on the strategy rather than just um, knee-jerk reaction moves, then you stand a better chance of developing your plan, applying your plan, and then basically finishing the plan with the strategy as the holistic um, guider. 